Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and welcome to part two of the MS Teams integration video. In part one, I showed you how easy it was to add conversational analytics powered by Click Insight Advisor to your MS Teams environment. And in part two, I'm going to simply walk you through how it can be used, providing a simple beneficial use case that uncovers some insights, answers some questions while collaborating with my colleague using nothing more than MS Teams integrated with my Click Cloud tenant. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription based content, instructor led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. Okay, so let's get started. In the last video, I showed you how to add the Click app to the MS Teams environment, and then immediately you can start asking questions or running the command list. If I wanted to just see the list of commands, you'll notice as I start typing, it automatically completes or prompts me or guides me. I can just select help, press enter, and then I'll get a generalized information of how to start using this. I am not going to spend too much time on this because I want to jump into the main use case, which is like asking some questions in regards to some sales and order analysis and working with uh, my particular colleague. Okay, so just some simple commands to help you get started. You can type apps, and this will show you all the list of apps that are enabled for Insight Advisor or Conversational Analytics. You could actually click the app to set the context, and you can see it will show you measures that are available. And for example, I can click Gross Sales and it will respond with a value, um, even possibly a visualization depending on the additional context that you might use. And there you go, so sales over time. But this particular instance, I want to work with one of my colleagues or multiple colleagues. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a team. And the way you do that is you click on the Teams icon, and then here I'm going to select Join or Create a Team and then click Create Team. Here, I'm going to select from scratch. I'm gonna make it public. And we're gonna give the team a name. We're just gonna call it Sales and Order Analysis Team. And click Create. Now I'm gonna start adding some members to the team. So I'm just gonna add my buddy, Chris and Nasser and Kathleen and then just click add. Now that they're added to the team, one other thing we need to do is we need to add the app to the team. So select the team and then choose manage team and then go up to apps. And if you don't see the click app in here, you have to select get more apps and then search for click. And I talked about this in the first video, it should be available in your store. If not, that's something your administrator has to do. But don't click open because what that will do is bring you directly to the click app in the individual list. What you want to do is select the app and then with the drop down arrow next to open, you want to select add to a team. And then it will recognize the teams that you own and you get to select it. In this case, I only have one. So here's the sales and order analysis team, set up a bot. And now I'm brought directly to that team, as you can see here on the bottom, and you can see general. So what we're gonna do in this particular instance is we're gonna start a conversation with the bot and perhaps uncover some insights and maybe want to bring in our colleague to ask additional questions. So I'm gonna click start a post and we're gonna call this order fulfillment analysis. And we can just say, hey guys, setting up this team thread so we can keep track of the current order queue. Okay, and this basically is going to, is the uh, initial post, so to speak. Okay, now those individuals in their activity will be made aware that they've been added to this particular team. And then myself as the manager, let's say, wants to start uncovering insights, asking questions of the apps that I have configured 
in my Click Cloud tenant. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just want to see the total orders by the sales reps where the status is open. In other words, the order has not been fulfilled yet. So when I'm in a team environment, I must select the at symbol and then search for the bot. In this case, click conversational analytics with click and then type in my question. So my question first is going to be show me total orders by rep where status is open. This might happen or might not to you. It all depends if you're logged into your session or not. So right here, I have not authenticated my session. So I need to actually log in to my tenant or configure my tenant for this app. So if this has been set up already, you may or may not get this screen. Now in the last video, we set this up here. I'm using my retro gaming tenant. So I'm just going to put in my host game retro gaming. Okay. So now I'm logged in. It's giving me some welcome messages. Now I could start asking my questions. So at symbol, I type in click, I press enter, and then I can put in my question. Show me total orders by rep where status is open. Okay. If you get, here's your answer. Usually what happens is, is the replies will get bundled up. So you might have to click the see more link. And then here is the response. So you could also verify the filters. You can see the count of total orders is 25 and the filter is order status open. So immediately I get my insights and I can see, for example, Chris and Amber have six orders that are open in this case. And we see other reps also have some orders open, but these are my top two that I want to focus on. In this case, what we're going to do is focus on Chris at click. And I'm going to put in my next question, which is by type where rep is Chris Lombardi. Now, what this is going to do is it remembers the context that I'm looking at the measure total orders and the order status of open. So it's going to apply that additional context. Okay. So right here, you can see that we now have the answer to the question. We have a special order for Miguel, one order, and then arcade sticks five. Okay. So Chris had six open orders. So now we have the breakdown. There's five arcade sticks and one special order. The total count is six filter rep. It's Chris Mabardi and the order status is open. So now what I'm interested in is the lead time. I want to see how long these orders are open for. So keeping that same context, I'm now selecting the uh, click bot and I'm going to say, show me lead time. Okay. So now we have a comparison that's looking at both the total orders measure and the lead time measure. Okay. This is another way of visualizing the data. And we also have an average lead time of 116 days for the total orders uh, of six where rep is Chris Lombardi and order status is open. So I'm not too concerned about this because this lead time is low. I'm very concerned about the arcade stick lead time, as you can see here. Okay. Which is over hundred days and it's almost close to 150 days. So at this point, I'm going to do a little bit more investigation before I bring Chris into this. And we're going to clear our existing contacts by calling in the bot and then using the term clear. So this will clear the context. Now I'm going to show you another way of asking a question. You can see the app context has been reset. Initiate click app. And now this time I'm just going to say, show me lead time, arcade sticks, comma, Chris Mabardi, comma, open. That's another way of applying those filters. Okay. So this is now showing me that particular information. Another thing that I meant to mention also is that since I cleared the context, we're starting over, but it notices that there is a lead time as well in other apps. In this case, I was working on a holiday app called Santa's analytics workbench. It notices that these two apps could potentially answer my question. So here I'm just going to choose the app that actually has the data that I would like to analyze. And that will set the context of that app. Okay. So here you can see lead time is 138 filter type arcade stick rep, Chris Mabardi and order status open. Okay. So now I want to see these by the order numbers, right? Because this time we're trying to de delve in to see which orders are we going to need to investigate. And here I'm going to say, uh, by order number. And what this is going to do is remember that context for the lead time and those filters. And now it's going to show us a chart of all those orders. So now we can see that order 1941 
has been open for 176 days, 1968, 165 days, and then there's some other orders, but definitely a long time that these orders have been open. So this is where now I'm really curious about what's going on here. So I'm going to bring Chris into this conversation. So I just say, hey, Chris, so you have an order 1941 that has been open 176 days and two other orders that have been open for more than 150. Can you please elaborate? Okay, so Chris just replied. He says, I think this was for the pre-order run that was launched in May. We're still waiting on button parts from the manufacturer. Okay, so let me check this out a little bit further. So let's look at total orders for the Sanwa button upgrade that have been opened by order number. Okay, so this is going to show me which orders have those button upgrades or those button parts that Chris had mentioned. Okay, another little tip trick. If you don't see the response, it's possibly bundled up in this link, 31 replies. Sometimes it does that for view consolidation, so you might have to click that to reveal the answer. And then here, the count of total orders is two, where the title, in other words, the product title, contains Sanwa button upgrade and the order status is open. So we have two of those orders. Okay, so let's look at that by the order number. Okay, and we can see that 1968 and 2021 are the orders here that have the upgrades. So I was inquiring, Chris, about 1941. So let me find out what else is going on here. Okay, so I inquired with Chris about orders 1968 and 2021 are the only orders that have the button upgrades and I was checking in with him on 1941. He's now explaining that that order has had payment issues. We're still trying to resolve the dispute. All right, so we're gonna change this context now and I'm gonna look at financial status. So let's perform a clear here. Okay, our context is clear. And now we're going to look at total orders by financial status. And we can see that we have uh, 1,000 orders paid, 21 refunded, and partially uh, refunded as 19. Okay, so we do have some issues here. I want to probably look at the partially refunded orders. So I'm just going to tell Chris, I'm going to explore this a little bit further. And I can do that by clicking explore this further button. And what this is going to do, this will bring me directly to the app. And it brings me to the context and it actually puts the question in the inside advisor search. So at this point here, I could look, ask additional questions. I can see the number paid, partially refunded, or immediately just turn off my inside advisor and then start looking at the different dashboard KPIs, such as I noticed that for button upgrades, um, we have 15 of them and there are 45 needed on hand. So there's 15 on hand and we still need 45. So that puts some more insight into some future orders that are going to be processed. And then there are additional insights here that we can follow up with, but that's not the point of this particular video. I just wanted to give you a quick example of how it can be used in MS Teams when collaborating with a colleague and trying to uncover insights and getting additional answers to questions so you can make collective decisions. If you have any questions, ask them where this video is posted and I will do my best to respond. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you on the next video.